You are listening to the No Nonsense Show. 10% less bullshit than any other podcast, guaranteed. <laughs> well, I always wondered whose voice is that? It's Kit. Okay, that's why I thought. I just wanted to make sure. Why the fuck was you wondering, Dan, like, if you knew who it was? I just wanted to make sure I was right. Hey, hey as you motherfuckers, uh, as y'all know, when y'all hear the motherfucking amazing voice, it is your boy Jay Smooth, and I am back in the building. From the islands. You was in the so, islands? So you went to Haiti, right? No, my daughter actually went to Haiti. I was in Florida. Your daughter went to Haiti? You sent yeah, your daughter on, to Haiti? She was on a cruise. And so she didn't go to Haiti. They have a cruise so to Haiti. She was just chilling. What, what you trying to say? I'm just saying, I don't, I've never seen that package. Haiti's a beautiful place, man. But they, they have a cruise for Haiti. Is it they, like they, a raft? Well, it's an well, island. <laughs> this thing's That's nice parts where only white people go where they don't let the Haitians they, go. They, they, <laughs> stopped, they stopped in and they swam and shit like that over there. And they went to Cozumel. They went to a couple of places. Cozumel's in Haiti? Mexico. No. Mexico. Yeah. But I'm saying they stopped down in Haiti. They went to Cozumel and they went to Jamaica. Some if shit you go like to Mexico, you can go through Haiti because it's in Central America. Oh, okay. Since the middle, and then you get that must have been like a seven day cruise. Seven day, yeah. Because yeah. right, you don't get all that shit when you do a three day cruise. I, I honestly see geography wasn't my shit. I thought Haiti was more towards um. What was your shit? California, <laughs> math. weed, math was your shit, and, and weed in, in high school for sure. <laughs> yeah. math is, I'm talking about as far as classes though. Yeah, weed math. is in a class. Well, hey, weed's gonna be hey, a part of science. Jamaica didn't have class growing up. Jamaica have class. Horticulture, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Horticulture, no. Yeah. Like yeah. they had that. They had that group of people that had that. You know they. Had the uh, what are the portables, and then they had the, the Farmers of America mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. organization, and then they had people that fucking raised the animals and shit over there too. And I was kind of one of them kids, you know what I mean? Yeah. But no, nah, math was math was my shit until I got to math that didn't matter. Which and one it, is that trigonometry? Yep. When it's they like, stop putting letters and shit, it's just like what the fuck are we doing here? I mean, yeah. honestly, I should have stopped at algebra. What the fuck? Who needs that? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I mean, well, I, I don't. I don't need all that. When they start talking about trig, nigga, I just changed my class. It's, <laughs> I wanted a basic math. I think that's the class. That's when I met Beatus. I know him, me and him thought the same then. That nigga didn't want trig either, so he got basic So math. you saying you were almost in trigonometry. We were. We, I was going to trig, and I said, you had an option, nigga, basic math or trig. Okay, I so said, what was before hard, trig? Easy. And you had algebra, you had algebra, geometry, yeah, algebra yeah. two. You had calculus and calculus. Y'all making fun of my trick. wording? Calculus. Okay. No, we've always made fun of this move. It's True. just you're worse. <laughs> worse. I just always. <laughs> it's, it's am I your, worse or I just got worse. an accent? Worse. No, nigga. It's, 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 you just worse. don't not say shit. It's, sometimes it's both. <laughs> both. So it's a combination. Fuck so you double it. You double down. Like you are worse <laughs> and you have an accent. <laughs> I worse than my language arts teachers, man. <laughs> they, they used to get on you, huh? <laughs> no, nah, they was cool with it because they understood I have an accent. You know, they, under, they still that, understand they the gave English you a pass, language. Nigga. <laughs> what year are you gonna lose your accent? Never. Why? Because you there's a point you just don't lose it. You know? No, come on now. Every you're telling me that when you move somewhere, like if I moved to England, eventually my my voice would start. My accent would you're start. Too old. What? Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not trying yeah, to make it seem like Yeah, he is. It's not because like you're Don't old, like you're about to die. But you came, you came when you were nigga. 11 or something. Yeah, but I still spoke my native tongue. Like, if I had stopped, right? If I had stopped speaking Creole, maybe my English would have probably been like the A shit. Lot better. But you know what's so funny? Only down south people say something about my English. When I go up north, they they think it's fine. They, they even, accept dumbass. They don't think it's there. fine. They accept no, for dumb, real. It's almost like a Boston accent, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't think it's, it's fine. Just, they guess yeah, just that Boston, they're not as open as we are. You know, the north hides everything, racism, all that shit. But we just in the south, we let it out. We let you know. Or the north just got a bunch of Haitians too, so they like, oh, you got a Haitian accent, so they still understand. Me. Well, there are more Haitians in like New York. Yeah, New York, Boston, Jersey, all those areas are full of Haitians. So I think like, they just uh, understand. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know, how no, many we, Haitians are there in Haiti? There are more Haitians in America than there are in Haiti, aren't there? Could be half and half. Of course, they are. No, I heard that there are more here. They're more here because I know it's like nine million in Haiti. If you were a Haitian, where would you want to be? <laughs> Come on, I mean, what the fuck. <laughs> of course, there's more Haitians here. Them niggas are raff as There are nine million Haitians in Haiti. Yeah, it's like nine to ten million. It's tiny though. God damn. Yeah, it's small as fuck. But you know, still living on top of each the other. The favelas, nigga. They that's slums, you know, on top. Of, yeah, like you said, on top of each other. And, oh, God. I mean, it's still it's still land. Like it's small, but it doesn't mean that it's like. Two acres <laughs> You know It's still a lot of land I don't know man I, I think that you made The right choice I mean not that you had a choice You were But I mean If I was a Haitian I'd want to live in America too Yeah Yeah, yeah I definitely. mean fuck I'd want to live anywhere sure, else. Yeah yeah There's You know actually You know what's the hottest place To go now for Haitian immigrants Who? Chile Chile 
Mm-hmm. Okay. In South America, it's kind of crazy. I, I guess it's is just, Chile hot. They're just giving them visas, I guess. But that's the like the hottest place. Even the last like hot, like good. No, like, that's what I'm. Yeah, mean. yeah, that's what like, they're I'm just like, going. Yeah, yeah, they're just going there. That just seemed third world to me too. Yeah, so but it's know. a better third world, you know. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know? <laughs> if you named after a dish, <laughs> I mean, there's a there is a migration right going on right now. Them niggas is trying to you know caravan and. With the march off to the fucking America and shit. That's why we got motherfucking the National Guard at the border. <laughs> like, yeah, that's, I mean, that's why, or just no, that's because they, they were trying. They're coming. They were like they've been coming. No, no, no. They're like organized coming, like like underground railroad coming type shit. They get like they all are, you know. But they've been doing that. That's true. I remember. Remember we were doing the show when they sent all them kids when they just like flooded the damn border with fucking yeah. underage kids and yep. shit and just like. They can't turn you away. They'll take you in and just, you won't have parents and shit, nigga. You'll be a fucking foster kid, but that's fucking better. To, being a foster kid in America is better than having parents in Mexico. Exactly. Damn, that's fucked up. Well, I mean, y'all saw that video I put in Slack about- I, was, I started it, but I didn't get the chance to finish it. Oh, yeah. I, didn't, I mean, about the how it, they got fucked up and how mm. they split. And yeah, how, just, I guess how they got fucked up or just the fact that what, the way France ran them in the ground- and meanwhile, Spain wasn't running the DR into the ground. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. I seen that video. You did? I no, I didn't. no, he didn't see this. <laughs> French, I'm, I'm telling you, this shit sounded good, nigga. You was like, damn, you did? Because you was going to feel a certain type of way that I saw this shit and you didn't. Oh, yeah, Show I was, research. I was just surprised. Like, oh, Jay Smooth, Smooth, man, you can't come back in here without shit to say, man. You've been gone two shows. You need to come and say something. Hey, I'm saying shit, nigga. Hey, I want to tell you, motherfucker. Four. Where were hey, you at? Nigga, I went down. I was in West Palm. Then I went to motherfucker Fort Lauderdale. Nigga, I was on the beach, right? So you, you took spring break like, like you, you was in college and shit. Like, well, actually... Actually, I was supposed to be on a seven day cruise, but I decided not to motherfucking go because I just so you were you were going no, with I just baby girl. Fathom, yeah, I couldn't fathom spending that much money for one person. You couldn't afford it. That's what no, I mean. nigga, I could have. <laughs> no, nigga, I could have. I could have French. You know what I'm saying? Oh, French. By the way, I brought you some wings tonight because I know you're gonna be hungry because you couldn't afford to eat tonight. So I saved five of my bones for you. <laughs> <laughs> so so look, See, that's your comeback. <laughs> so so check so check this out. But I was down in Florida, man, and I. I guess it was spring break, but it was some pretty motherfucking women down there. And it was so crazy. So that's why you were alone. He, so said, you, he said, I guess it was. You, so your daughter was just out of school on a normal day? <laughs> no, I'm saying, I, didn't, I, don't, I didn't think everybody took spring break at the same time. It's um, usually around the same time. Huh? If you didn't know. Huh? It's usually around the same time. There's a lot of motherfuckers in Atlanta don't take spring break around the same time. You know what I'm saying? Around, they don't take it around the same time. They don't take it like so it'd be somebody like take somebody it take it a week. Somebody take it a week early. So That'd be around that, the same time. Those motherfuckers right? that took spring break in March. That's still kind of around the same time. At, Nobody no, took spring the break. Same. College people take spring break in March. Can you know? I? Because they're in earlier. Not not no, high school and I'm below. Just, can no. I unpack this just for a second? Sure. Just, so let me just say, so you guys you were scheduled to go on a cruise with baby girl. No, and, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do the cruise. I was I don't planning know. to go right. on it. So, yeah. so you guys went down there and not we. It was me. But didn't baby girl go no on a cruise? No, she went on a cruise. She flew out of Atlanta oh. to Florida, and they caught a cruise out of you drove? Cape Canaveral. No, I flew. I flew. I'm no, to so okay, so so we two two separate flights. I didn't I didn't go with them. I left out Friday. I was going Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. She left out Sunday from Atlanta going down. She wasn't with me at all. Oh, okay. I was by myself. I needed a I need a I need I a motherfucking I, vacation. I, that's what I'm not that's what I'm not understanding. Who goes on a fucking vacation? By themselves. By themselves. I, Maybe, I don't believe in the middle, in the middle could, of a work day. I, I guess I a work day. It we was worked at the on end. Monday. I, right. No, I took it Friday evening. I had a flight out Friday evening. Oh, you're talking so, about Monday. We worked on Monday last week. Absolutely. This job. Absolutely. But you yeah. weren't. Absolutely. I was on vacation. No, but you didn't tell nobody. I did. I told y'all way fucking ahead of time. I said I won't be here. No, that's because that, you were going on a cruise. You weren't I, going on a cruise. But it was before. vacation was still pat, playing. <laughs> vacation, nigga. The day I put the days, I submitted the days well ahead. Like niggas, look, we planning ahead. I won't be here this Monday. Boom, 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 whoop, de whoop. And you, that was I, it. I, you need more more interesting than what you're talking. About. You're not talking hey, about look, nothing, man. You been, you was going was, two shows. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, man. It was some fuck. Like, did you fuck? Yes or no? no I didn't. I didn't. But you, I, you didn't get a prostitute. No, I didn't. Uh, you trying to tell me you was in Florida? West, West Palm. West Palm has some pretty motherfuckers down there. And then I drove. I didn't realize Fort Lauderdale was that close. And then I was kind of close to Miami. If I didn't run out of time and spending time in Fort Lauderdale, I would have drove on down to Miami. You should have. You should have skipped Fort Lauderdale. Anyway. Go straight hey, to Miami. Hey, no, Fort Lauderdale had a lot of pretty motherfuckers. Nah, like, go to the Miami. Shit, no, nigga. College I'm gonna tell you. 
Nah, it was some grown motherfuckers. I don't know if they was in college. They look grown. It was some young motherfuckers. Did they have so pimples, you had to, it, in their booty. Nigga, it was a couple of them. Uh, you hey, know what? You were already talking about I'll the part bodies. Hey, look. These motherfuckers walk around them two piece bathing suits on, nigga, and one side covered the ass cheek. How many, how many pieces something. did you have on? I just, I, I couldn't really take off my shirt because I wasn't ready yet. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I didn't want to just run <laughs> Only on, neck so. up, right? Only neck up. Yeah, get, had them there. You know what I'm saying? Definitely had them there. Had the sunblock on that. But I couldn't take the shirt off. That's why you used to put some greasy ass, ass Instagram pictures. I mean, no, we saw is. this nigga on the beach with a fucking hot ass polo on. Yeah, they were getting <laughs> on you in, in the slack room. That nigga so underarms were sweaty as fuck. Hey, that's okay. Nigga, I was chilling though. It was it was fucking nice out there. I wanted it to use boring. my. I, no, it was nice. It was so nice. who did you? So kick what did it you with? do in Florida? Yeah, right, you nigga. I just need me. That's what I'm saying. I don't believe you, nigga. I know that you had a breezy down there. It's hard to not believe smooth. Goddamn, sometimes you know. I'm saying, but you know, I just you just don't want to say who the breezy was. No, I just couldn't take motherfucking okay, breezy so to the beach. There were some pictures that were not selfies. How'd that happen? Mm -hmm. What pictures were of you that weren't I took, taken? All of mine were. No, 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 no. There was one oh, you showing know your feet self and your hands. I don't know how you did that selfie. You got the, the self timer. No, what? nigga, yeah. it was, you can prop it up. You ain't got no <laughs> tripod. I got the motherfucking the gimbal. No, nigga. I you, got the gimbal. Your feet and hands were showing. You got the gimbal that you motherfucking got the little stand that sit, sits up on the motherfucking stand. You got caught, bro. That can, you, you, that can, you. The gimbal goddamn can follow you. You set the move for the gimbal. You don't I'm going to bring it to you. I'm going to bring it to show Next you, motherfuckers. So the live room wants to know about your tongue. What's my tongue? They want to know about Ooh. your tongue. Yeah, when you stuck your tongue out, they, they, they like, said yeah, it, bitch, like yeah, you had thrush. Ah. No, hey, like you had do. speed bus. So what I'm saying, uh, <laughs> your, Mr. J said your tongue is ripped for her pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. J kissed my ass. You laughing, but people are concerned. They thought maybe you had like full blown AIDS on your tongue. Uh, uh, hey, look, don't wish no bullshit like that. See, that's Nobody what I'm, I wish didn't see, wish that. See, this is the shit I be talking about that you motherfuckers don't take up for me in this life. And y'all wonder why I go in there and go mad, <laughs> goddamn mad crazy. I told you, when y'all see shit like this, y'all need to shut the fucking shit down. You lucky I need, didn't get in that motherfucker. Because I done went off on all the motherfuckers and got kicked the fuck out why? of this life again. Why? Like, you don't fucking talk about me like that. This motherfucker's smooth. I get the last motherfucking word on this. Bitch, you know what I'm saying? What, what he say the fucking the devil's what? He said his tongue is on the devil's. Uh, <laughs> I I can't, about. I can't, it was a saying, uh, you know, and then he said on the devil something, and then he said his tongue definitely was on the devil something. I don't know what it was. I can't you, remember. So you watched it and then shut it shut it down, either, J Man. I, I had to go to sleep. From now on, <laughs> shut the shit down. Yeah, I'm that, coming in I the fucking you. slack, and I'm a beast. <laughs> I'm a beast on that bitch. Beyond is gonna get woke up in the middle of the night. Again, motherfucking goddamn, what's the name? What's Nick King Kunta going to reach out to? Him? Be honest, could you please wake up and come into the slack? <laughs> no, right King Kunta has been asking for yeah. you to be there. He's like, uh, unleash the smoothie king. He wants he wants you to he go. He wants like you that. to be in there talking yeah, that shit. And I, you know, I had to, the last time somebody said something, I kind of refrained from really going in. I was like, really nice. I was. And, you know how to do it. You know, I, I'm, I, I'm learning to be a better me and, and not allow people to get me out of my character. So, what is it on your tongue? Thrash. Did you answer? Thrush. <laughs> thrash. It's thrush. Thrash. I think it's it is, it is It is a little abnormal, though. It is. As much shit as you talk, foot, you got a weird tongue. Hand, hand, foot, mouth. Like when they was goddamn Do you brush your tongue when you brush your teeth? No. You can't. No. That'll fuck that toothbrush up. Look. <laughs> tongue scraper, nigga. That's the, you gotta have one of those. Fuck that shit up too. Nah, you, <laughs> you saw them the bumps, two, man? The two niggas with the worst teeth on the hey, look, show. I was, gonna ask, I was gonna ask. These niggas. So don't. all that money he spent on his teeth, he couldn't got his tongue tightened up. I'm Doc, gonna, I'm Doctor Miami, your tongue. I'm getting, I'm getting a tongue makeover. Your tongue is fine as fuck though. It got curves and everything, nigga. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he said, Doctor Miami, your tongue. You gotta tongue, put a nigga. pause after that, bro. What? I don't want to talk about gay shit. That sounded gay as fuck. No, it didn't. Okay. Nobody, nobody thought it was gay. I thought that was even gay. even Jay Smooth. I said it about him. <laughs> I thought that was gay. You know, Jay Smooth liked it. He thought that was yeah, gay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, he complimented my tongue. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 No, that nigga tongue got curves in it. I, I can tell you, motherfuckers miss me though. You know what I'm saying? We I, never I, miss you. Know, you. I, 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 I love you, bitches. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All y'all, J Mac. Hey, I, I don't know why you J Mac was like J Mac. I don't know why you, you I said, got I said, I love bitches you. and I, shit, and then you went to J Mac. B, so you was at Biatches. <laughs> what you what you talk about, man? man? I was I was on the Twitter this past week. The that, Twitter, that Twitter, yeah. nigga, it's you, Twitter. You say that like an old person. Isn't that right. how old people say that shit? I was on the yeah. Facebook. Yeah, that's how I want to say it. Okay, okay. <clears throat> seem more mature. Yeah. When you said it yeah. I thought you were like 25 Your, your beard Your beard feeling a little bit When you said it like that I is actually it, thought you had a mustache Can you grow a mustache for A little bit It's no. not thick But it's, I can grow one That okay. baby stash Hey what happened to the motherfucking Straightener going to The top part of the hoodie 
That you pull it tight with Well I took it out Oh okay That motherfucker Didn't come with it nigga Okay go ahead <laughs> That nigga had an irregular hoodie separately <laughs> Go ahead I'm just yeah. Go ahead French And people He's ain't talking about mental Irregular This nigga doesn't wear anything From a real store I know Who? Everything <laughs> This nigga Absolutely oh, yeah. Everything he wears Outlet. is irregular Out- Outlet Everything I bet, you, I bet you He's probably the only one Knows about Follas You know about Follas What is that the, the, the discount store F-A-L-L-A-S I don't even know about No, that I ain't never heard of it. No, see, I guess I'm the only broke nigga that do that shit. Yeah, yeah I don't nigga, know they, what that is. They got deals in there. I was in there today. Jay Smooth will be there next week. Oh, no, nah, look. They, <laughs> they, they, I mean, they killing. They killing. They got good shit? Yeah, they got cool shit. <laughs> hey, it's like it's like where Walmart takes their irregular shit too. <laughs> Listen, but guess what? Guess who was in there today though, man? They get, I've been there and I was out in the one in Merle and uh, Deb, uh, Waka Flocka Mom up in there. Buying about four hundred dollars worth of polo. irregular shit. Yeah, I guess you know she got. I guess she got grandkids. Because uh, if you going for kids, if you got kids, it's the fucking spot. Like you can get a gang of F O L L I F A F A L L I. Is that shit over there? I found motherfucker one thirty eight. Am 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 I wrote like? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's on. No, it's on Mount Zion. Our listeners don't have any idea. So, but I bet you they know about Fallas. Somebody out there know about Fallas because it's everywhere. I I used to shop in California. I'm just saying, Jay Smooth got the nerve talking about some irregular shit and nothing he wears. Nothing, nigga. I I be cute like a motherfucker. My shit though. Nothing is from a real store. Be loving my shit, nigga. Nigga, it is what it is. Nigga, just don't wash your jeans. Nigga, hang on. That's what So they don't shrink. Is that how you do it? Motherfucker, shrink. You gonna take them to the dry cleaners? No, hell no, nigga. They they throw up over there too. They drop over there too. They be crunchy when I put them on though. They crunch. Because you hang them up. When you hang them up, they be kind of hard. Do you, you know, really you, hang your, your jeans up? Absolutely. I All do day. too. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So you're supposed to dry them just a little bit and then hang them up. I just yep. dry them. Hey, Anyways. for the listeners. Yeah, but um, Twitter was talking about mental health all the time now. Like mental health is like the next thing. Everything. It's everybody's. Trendy. I mean, everybody's, everybody's crazy. Is, yeah. Right? Everybody's I mean, crazy. Everybody's depressed. Everybody's been sad. Everybody got raped. YouTube rape. bitch is yeah, cra- it was yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. That that story is crazy. My thing is, I'm cool with that. I'm all about raising mental health awareness. I what? Even, mental. M- mental, mental health. <laughs> mental health awareness. I'm all about raising that, and I'm all about providing research, having the conversation. But I'm starting to think that. How do you, how do you provide research? <laughs> do research Whatever Hold on Hold on <laughs> That was a good question Oh no 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 but you guys missed it That nigga took the H Out of think too That nigga said tink <laughs> Well I, I expect that From an islander That's, yeah, nor- that's, that's normal That's the accent yeah, That's man. normal islander like tink, shit You know That's, that's normal tink, islander man. shit when You can't say the word human though That's a problem <laughs> Even when you're trying <laughs> Alright my bad my nigga Yeah so I feel like we're getting away from Certain things are supposed to be difficult I feel like now everybody that goes through a hard time, it's depression, or it's yeah. like it was it was the worst Bull, moment bully. in my life. Yeah, but like some shit's supposed to be fucking hard, and you're supposed to struggle. The Rock was depressed apparently back in the day when oh, yeah. he was 23. Nigga, oh, yeah. we was all broke. I'm broke right now, at 23. Like I don't, I'm not depressed. Kevin Love, you know, had to leave the fucking Cavs because yeah. of depression. Uh, DeMar DeRozan yeah, said that he battles depression. depression you know, right? and I'm not trying to. And these niggas are multi-millionaire, balling ass NBA niggas and that shouldn't they'll really give you have the cliche answer that sexuality, money, though. money oh, doesn't. Jay, Jerry Mac, you're never gonna learn, man. Success has nothing to do with money. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, everything's a little better when you rub some money on it. I don't give a fuck what you talk about, <laughs> nigga. If you got enough money to rub on some, what, I, nigga, what problems you got? Nigga, you got bigger money you, problems. You got, you got, nigga, stop. That's just bad management then. That's bad <laughs> money management. If you got multi-million dollar, if you got a hundred and something million dollar contract. Has nothing to do with your mental capacity. I, I'm just saying. You That's play, a lot of pressure okay, to keep but, that money. Hey, look, whether or not you have money does not mean that your baby mama ain't stressing you out about something. They don't have to do with money. Cancel that hoe. And she's probably going to stress you out even more because you got her. money. So cancel she's probably her. Take a lot like of that in shit. Death. Get, you, you just live clean, nigga. Get her out. Okay, so get her out. And, get her out. And now you got to go to prison because you got her out. How no, you going to no, get no, her no, out? No, 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 nigga. I'm not saying Ray Karouf that bitch. Oh, 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 I'm just saying just get her out of your life. We were talking about that last week, living clean. Just, you know what I mean? You're trying I'm, to use that against me? Yeah, no, you no I'm just using it right I'm not, I'm not using it against you. I'm okay. telling this nigga advice. Who? It, DeMar DeRozan or any of these rich ass niggas that got fucking problems with baby mamas or whatever else is stressing them the fuck out. Yeah. Get this shit out of your life. Nigga, you got to you got enough money that you could fucking do that. But what yeah. if the problem is not about a paying it's not a money 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 can't buy it. Well somebody touch you? 
What if somebody did touch them all when he was young? I'm not trying to say that's what happened, but nigga, get over it. We already talked about this. Nigga, how long is the period of mourning? Nigga, give a shit. You can't. We did talk about that. We you, can't dwell you, on this shit forever. forever. So yeah, what do you man. think? You think it's bullshit, or there's 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 truth to everything? When it's that, a whole bunch shit. of pussy ass niggas in the world, and that's men and women. I'm just saying this because I'm about mental health awareness. I, I do You're believe, about it. I do believe that we, especially in the black community, should talk about it more. Probably seek therapy if we can afford it. And whoa, such whoa, and whoa, such. whoa, 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 whoa. French Reggie's black now? You see how he grouped himself with mm -hmm. us? With, I, when it, hold up. Haitian's always been black. Nah, nah nigga. nigga. You already said we yeah. wasn't shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't respect us American black Negroes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We never that. rebelled against our slave master. <laughs> I, I yeah. just said that. So now we all black, French Reggie? But I am black. Like, like that. No, I'm blacker black? than y'all niggas. What's yeah, you no, not? Stop being Haitian. You are Haitian. I'm close to the root, nigga. Black is an American thing. Yeah, I'm closer to the root. Which root? Yeah. The 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 black African root. The yeah. ginger root? Yeah. From motherland. How is that so? I don't understand. Huh? How is that so? That we're closer to the root? Yes. Yeah. How do you feel like you're any closer? We're actually we're very close to each other com in comparison to Africa. What you mean? Distance, proximity. Oh, I'm not talking about distance. I'm talking about So what about, are you talking, so about, you talking about? I'm talking like, about as far as like living tribal? Yeah, and all that. Nah, France got y'all on a lot. France got y'all by, nah, by the dick. Worse than that, man. French gang gang raped us. <laughs> there, yeah, there. Much. <laughs> so y'all closer to French. We're closer to to Africa. But if you want to talk about proximity, France is very close to Africa. Niggas can fucking swim there. Mm, how do we get? Nah, how nigga. do we fly to France, nigga? Y'all can't afford to get to France. Y'all in nah, Haiti, nigga. motherfucker. You ain't swimming. You can't swim across the Chattahoochee, nigga. Fucking like <laughs> swimming the fucking from France to Africa. Stop. <laughs> so you say it's a bunch of pussy ass niggas. That's, that's no. The, the world is full of a bunch of bitch ass pussy ass people. Everybody is. So how can we tell the difference when something needs to be said about mental health and when somebody's just being pussy? Once they shoot up something. Once they shoot up the building. That's when they're... Yeah, that's when that's So when we got to wait till then to, to, to seek help? What do you mean by say something about it? When can we... Like, if, if the next celebrity who we don't... let LeBron comes out, I'll be like, I've been depressed. Okay, so The Rock. Us. Can we just forget the other niggas? The Rock is fucking killing the game. This nigga is fucking... On top of it, like, and on top but, of it, but he, I he's mean, on, he, he's, he's on the, it now. But think about like, is he's it? He's been on it since WWE. So, so when he was going through it, when he was going through it, when uh, French, you talk about when he was twenty, it was that because he was broke and shit wasn't popping out. He was, for him, a, he was going or, through the every shit young twenty year olds go through. Man, they're struggling in life. They're figuring out what to do. And such and such. Like the shit you young motherfuckers say all the time. I'm just bored. Well, no, I don't think it's bored. I think when you're the Rock, though, you have a lot to live up to. Think about it. Like you know, you got to do steroids. You got to work out. Like to be At him, he was pumping. You think like he that? do steroids? Fuck yeah! All those motherfuckers do steroids, especially wrestlers. All of them. Yeah. All of them. Most athletes. LeBron probably does some <gasps> type of. I had, to take, I had to take steroid shots before one time. You gonna let him talk about your dude like that? No, he probably does. I can't, I can't defend that. I don't know. He okay. probably, most athletes at the top of their game, especially ones at the top of their game, they come on. That's how they get their edge. But. But they All, get tested for that. It's, nah, it's motherfuckers on, that has asthma that take steroids. So, shots. okay, so you think every health score in every restaurant you go around here deserves that 199? Yeah, because they know when that shit's coming, bro. Just like, I guess they know when drugs exactly. are coming. You, you don't think LeBron, you don't think they're going to tell LeBron when they're coming? Hey, in three you know weeks. what would happen? You know what would happen if LeBron, the, for the NBA, not just his team, not just the Cavs, but the NBA, what kind of hit the NBA would take if LeBron got caught doping? Think about that. I don't mind for basketball though I don't mind for any of this shit No I mind for like boxing Cause you're actually hitting somebody so, but, but basketball Ain't nobody left in boxing the Shit nah, you, you That winder nigga that, yeah, that winder nigga is a beast Yeah and There was then, one nigga that said you want, Is it the same nigga that said he wants to kill somebody in the Yeah way? that's one yeah, that <laughs> He said play. he want a body <laughs> He want a body on his fucking beast. count <laughs> I mean, this nigga really said he wanted to kill somebody. Like, literally, like... Yeah, I, but he didn't say... He wasn't being literal. He was being an asshole. He wasn't trying to be literal. I, see, that, that one fucking Boom Boom Mancini, that nigga killed that motherfucking Korean nigga. And I I think that was... I, I seen video of that shit. You, you, you kill somebody, it changes you. Not that I would know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> you said it like you know. No, I'm just saying, and then you know, what I'm saying. Yeah, Ray Lewis did change. <laughs> yeah, of course he did. He fucking a gospel nigga now. He wasn't that dude before he fucking killed that nigga. He yeah. didn't. He was never accused of killing anyone. That doesn't mean it's self defense. Ray Lewis was never even he. No, Ray Lewis had nothing to do with it. Ray Lewis was in the limo. His homeboy got in, and he didn't snitch on his homeboy. Ray Lewis had nothing to so do with it. So the homeboy killed the nigga. Yes. Uh. <laughs> Ray Lewis had nothing to. He it's wasn't like even there. 
That's what's so crazy about that shit. OJ wasn't there too. It happened here in Atlanta. Trust me, Jimmy. Make it happen. You wasn't there, nigga. That so you trying to tell Neither me? Neither was Ray Lewis. So, you, <laughs> so Ray Lewis was not even in the car when he, that shit happened. No, he was. It didn't, he didn't got get killed in the car. It was some, like some public shit. But it was Ray Lewis was not actually there. So why did Ray he, Lewis got in trouble for not telling on his homeboy? Because he, he knew the homeboy did. Well, I don't know. I don't That's know. That's what I'm saying. I don't he know what there. happened. Nigga How get the in the car. Know? Nigga get in the car with blood all on. They him asked Ray Lewis to tell the truth about what happened, and he wouldn't. That's why Ray Lewis got in trouble. It wasn't because he did anything to anyone that could have resulted in death. My bad, Ray. Okay, my bad. This whole the internet thinks he killed somebody. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that's because y'all don't y'all don't wait. Like motherfuckers mad at Fabulous right now, but we don't talk about that. But hold on, look. Rock though. Oh, oh, back to the rock. Fab- oh, we gotta talk about that. Hold on, back to the rock though. Cause think about how hard it is to be that dude. I mean, I'm not saying his money isn't good, but he has a lot of shit to do to be the rock. Mm-hmm. Cause he's not really the rock with all, nigga, all the other stuff. Nigga, me too. Dig it's hard to be smooth, but I ain't stressed. Nigga, you you're you know not even saying? in the same level as the it rock. Don't matter, how, how, hard, how hard do you think it is to be smooth, honestly? It's pretty <laughs> easy. You just gotta be retarded. Hey, look, no, it's not you, it's you don't gotta go to the gym. You don't gotta go to the gym. That nigga told me you just gotta be fucking. You look, look, you don't gotta read books. Dickhead. You don't have to do you don't have to do shit to be smooth. What else? You hey, don't have to you don't have to what do you have to nigga, do? It's a show lot prep. you keep up. You don't have to do show prep. It's, it's a lot that you gotta do. You don't have to have to topics. You know, you know how hard that is to keep doing that shit and be consistent? <laughs> that shit is hard. You don't have to have your own car. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's shit is, you gotta be consistent. You, you motherfucking ain't got, You ain't gotta be faithful to nobody. It's n- it takes no work to be smooth. That's, it, to whatsoever. be consistent. You gotta be heartless. Man. You, no, nigga, I am. I'm, I that, have that's heart. too much work. I have heart. He's not even harder. That's too much work. He doesn't even do that. This I'm nigga does you. nothing. French, that's too much work. French, if you were if you were to walk in my shoes one day, you'll realize how hard it is to be me. Seriously, he, this shit is over here break his ankle. Everything. <laughs> shit is everything. So, I, as, as far as the mental health thing, I, I don't know. I think we just classifying it. I mean, it's always been there, right? I don't think it's any today's. The society just amplifies everything. I don't, I mean, it was motherfuckers. Fucking Charles Manson led a whole cult of people. What about the motherfucking Branch Dravidians? What about, you know, those motherfuckers that put the Cortez classics on and some fucking quarters in their pockets and committed mass suicide in fucking Southern California? You know, I mean, there's a bunch of motherfuckers that were Crazy. not right in the head, and it's been like that. That's not new. Crazy ain't new. And it, that's just it, an excuse. It, there's that just they so use. many. Degrees now of it are different, you know, bipolar, you know, this, that, and the other, you know, uh, depression, this, that. That, I think I we think used to me, get whoopings. That's what happened. You know what I mean? And nigga, you was depressed. Nigga, you just got whooped and told to shut fuck up. Now you you had to toughen up. You was like, shit, don't no one give a fuck if I'm depressed. So what am I gonna do? The fuck am I gonna do? I think people just using that as an excuse now. Did they say mental illness? What um old boy that was th- um uh, Connor? He threw that fucking chair through the the damn the no, bus. No, 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 no. He was and just angry. Just, and they could have motherfucker said that was mental illness. Yeah, they could say yeah, it's an anger form. problem. You know what I'm saying? They always blame. Do you like think that. you're mentally ill? No, it just depends yeah, on. Yeah, what I'm, I'm half crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I I'm I'm half retarded. I mean, is it just is it by trigger or is no, it no by just, looks or just. It's Tuesday. I feel like being half retarded. No, it's, it's not a day that it happens. It just happens. You know, I just sometimes Born. I do. So yeah, man, it, it's, just, it's been that way since yeah. I was young. And but you know what? Fucking keep living. Depend on what's what's the stabilization like. You Have know you tried to to deal with it? Like go to therapy or talk yeah? And they to gave friends, me that fucking family. Adderall shit, nigga, and that shit wasn't cool. I mean, that shit. <laughs> this is the thing. It was. They didn't know J Mac was a fucking can, his own chemist. Walter <laughs> <The, the>, <laughs> White, nigga. He mixed the drugs. <laughs> the, the Adderall was cool for. The first like four or five months, I thought that shit was the best thing since sliced bread. Then you get immune to it. Well, it just it, I, it became like you know a for real crutch. Like as far just as far as just doing normal shit, right? You know because it threw my sleep patterns off, which then I wasn't sleeping. So then when I needed to fucking sleep or need to be up, I got to take more of that shit just to. Did fucking you even it. eat when you was in Adderall? Barely. Yeah, that's why I took it one time for a final in college, and I didn't eat, and it's that shit bothered. That shit. That shit. Because I didn't eat and I love food so much, that shit bothered me. I'm never you should, take, you should take Adderall down there because you ain't got no money. It helps curves the appetite. <laughs> yeah, it was. It's. I mean, I'm just saying, French. It is what it is. I, I feel like you know you just gotta. They, they give you shit when you say, and it's all I think really part of the whole pharmaceutical shit. Yeah, 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 that's part all of the whole is. pharmaceutical game. We're gonna diagnose all these different things that we're gonna create fucking prescriptions for, and then sell these niggas for all these different things, and really. 
What the fuck? They get but you. Ho- the they get you hooked up for that point because like eventually you're gonna kill the whole population. Yeah, but you're gonna kill the population. You gotta weed this. You stop. can't. You can't keep growing niggas. You can't keep populating the earth anyway. So you, we need to weed out niggas. You guys but are everybody's breeding. on some fucked up shit. If it's not the medicine, it's the fucking food. Like I went to Kroger and bought a strawberry. The strawberry was the size of my hand. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I just threw the whole thing away. I was like, I know I'm not supposed to eat that. Shit, that was a strawberry. Sometimes it can be on a vine a long time and, and get nah, that. Big nah, but it was giving me a high five. Yeah, <laughs> strawberry is supposed to be that big. But you know what though? I think um, maybe you got that shit mixed up with an apple. You know, sometimes <laughs> Haitians they yeah. you don't know it's fruits. <laughs> I'm pretty sure yeah, that's the one thing niggas from Haitians, the islands know. It's, it's fruit, fruits, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think that um, the medicine is is a bad idea. I have re- do I seem calmer and and more medicine, more centered. Recently, yeah, I don't know what are you taking. I, I've been saying oh, that, that this that, episode. That that that, that ginkgo biloba. No, I I was gonna take that. I I ended up getting um ashwagandha. What the yeah. fuck is that? It's it's it a Wakanda shit from Wakanda. Fruit, <laughs> it's a Wakanda fruit drink. <laughs> nah, it's a it's a it's a, a vitamin pill thing that I take. I mean, it's powder, but I guess they put it in it's the vegan. What so is you it mix it, it with water? water? Ashwagandha. No, you don't mix it. It's a pill. Oh, it's a pill. But um, it it it. I feel like it does definitely reduce. Not maybe not. Get rid of, but I think it takes the edge off stuff like stress. And I believe it's an it's an um it's an Indian mineral or something like that, an herb or something. So you can just smoke weed. Uh, yeah, you possibly could, I guess. But you know, I, I this can is still, not this is not illegal. I can still drive a car and not you know go to sleep on my you know I don't go to sleep. <laughs> I mean, this is you smoking some good shit. But you know what though? So I, like, does I, it help you focus or something? like yeah, that? Yeah, it does. It helps with oh, focus okay. too. It helps with focus. It helps with brain like strength. Where you get Fuck, that? Shit I need at? two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vitamin shop. GNC? Vitamin shop, yeah. I what is it called again? Ashwagandha. 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 A S H W A N 4000. <laughs> oh, no. W A G A N D H A. They need to put that in the next spelling B. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but no, but that, I, th- I think that, you know, you can com- combine a few things like that that, that have. To Things to do with mental fortitude. Can I borrow two and, pills, three pills? No, I mean, you have to take it. It's not like something you can I'm just gonna take I'm going to take it until I get my bottle. No, you can't take my So it's expensive. not a vitamin. It's more of a mineral. It's like a, a mineral herb or something. Okay. Yeah. Nigga, my mom and them used to share drugs all the time. And you had some go over nigga house. They'd be saying, I got a toothache, nigga. You got something for a toothache. Yeah, but this and is it, this is in small doses, so it doesn't fuck you up. I mean, I, I'm sure if you took a lot of it, you could probably do some damage. I don't know. But um, I, I have noticed that it's taking the edge off some of the stressful moments. You know, things at work when I'm just like ready to just like shut down and not do nothing. I've pushed through. So I have seen some, I've only been taking it like two weeks. So you're supposed to take it for a couple of months before you should see all the, the, the good effects of it. Okay. But. Is it pricey? Yeah, you know, it depends. It works. So you I mean, not, you, I mean, not for you, same. for an average yeah. nigga. You need to buy the pricey one because if you don't, you're probably going to get a bunch of fillers. Okay. So you're going to want to buy a mid, at least a mid-level brand. So how much is that, Remy? 60, 90 pills, I think, for like $15. Okay. As long as the oh, 60. Thinking, I'm thinking this. I'm yeah. thinking this shit I'm thinking was going to be GNC price. I'm thinking like I go in and drop $60 or some yeah, shit. Yeah, with the 60, I thought that was going to be the dollars. I was like, <laughs> fuck. No, it might be. It might, it's either 60 or 90 pills um, um, for like, no, it's like it was 90 pills for like $15. Okay. okay. So that's tomorrow. me level. Because I, I need something to help me focus and but, keep my no, brain no, but, waves no, but, going. But that's not even what I was going to say. Honestly, I don't believe medicine is the key. Nah. I think that what we honestly need. For mental health? Yeah. I think friendship. Who? I'm just joking. I said friendship. <laughs> I was just joking. It was hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. Fuck you. <laughs> no, but uh, maybe, maybe. I think that people just need to have uh, a life manager, for lack of a better word. Like a young mm-hmm. like No, wife. like a counselor. Somebody who's a third <laughs> party, somebody who's a third party person who can kind of look at what you got going on and kind of help you navigate those things. So you know, everybody you think needs that? I think everybody yeah. needs that. Everybody should. Yeah. I think everybody needs to have some form of therapy, and I think that it, it really matters who that person is, but don't look at it as a therapist. Look at it as a life manager. Because, you know, things come at you from every direction, and, and sometimes because you're in the middle of it, you can't really see it. I like therapy. Therapy works. I can I can approve of that. You been to therapy? Yeah, yeah. When I, when, that culture shock, man, I had to. But... But no, I think, that I, was anger management, nigga. That's different. I think it also, was all of that. It was anger management, culture shock. It was, you know, like the reason why the accent jokes don't. I don't. I don't cry about. It, I don't take it to heart because the first. Have you been through therapy? I mean, I used to fight niggas over shit like that. I know in school. So, but you so, know, we'd all fuck you up though. So, ain't that, I mean, really... that that used to put me out of anger. That I was, like kid, like nigga, I black out. They got. Like first day of school I almost got suspended Kit wants us to stop Mentioning the fact That she blacked out And got kicked out of high school Oh okay 
<laughs> she doesn't want us to mention it ever again that she blacked out and lost complete control and beat that you girl's just said ass it twice. <laughs> the worst, the worst beating that ever happened at the, her at, in, in her the school county. history. The yeah. school in, history. In her, no, the worst county history. in the county. Oh wow, right. they've never seen an ass whooping <laughs> that bad. And she got expelled out of the county. <laughs> she got expelled out of the county. Yeah. yeah, she wants us to stop mentioning that though. So let's not say she blacked out anymore. Okay. Yeah. From now on, we keep that all above. She got a GED from Groupon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but um, wow, no, she's just probably kidding, gonna kidding. come down here. Yeah, just kidding, just kidding, kidding, just kidding. But I think, man, it could be like uh, motherfuckers you surround yourself with too. You know what I'm saying? That kind of can lead to that shit. But I've all this is what I've always said. I just think, J Mac, you know, especially with you being from California, I just think motherfuckers on the West Coast live a little different life than motherfuckers on the East Coast. I think East Coast motherfuckers stress more than the people that's out there in California. It seemed like they're East Coast free. motherfuckers seem like they go to the beach. It seemed like the motherfuckers was like. Even like when I went to Hawaii, motherfuckers was just like, no. nigga, they go to work, they was like, we're going to the beach, dude. And they be out there and they. No, you're really? right about, but not necessarily about California, but I think anytime you live on a coastal part, like if you live by the water, I think it's something with water that yeah, does. It's like some type of therapy. It, it is. The Atlantic it's, Ocean ain't like that, man. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know if the Atlantic is like that. Go to Myrtle Beach. Ain't nobody happy. The motherfuckers like fuck. Virginia, I went, I went Virginia to Beach. Was they happy in Virginia Beach? No, Virginia Beach? no. that's where they was killing black people. Remember the cops was fucking up black people. Yeah. Like, that's where Freaknik was before. I don't know if y'all knew that Freaknik started in Virginia Beach. Uh-huh. It got moved here because the cops had a fucking. They had a, like a, it was like a riot, but it was the cops against the black people. It wasn't the kids against the cops. It was the other way around. They fucked Kids up, damn. So they moved it down to down uh, south Atlanta. where they couldn't hang, hang too many niggas. Yeah. Too many. But see, I was where was I at? I was in Ocean Beach, uh, Jacksonville, no, Florida, and uh, <laughs> uh Cocoa Atlanta. Beach is what it yeah. was. Sorry, Cocoa huh. Beach. And I look, everybody there was fucking chilled in a month. No, nah, man, Florida is just like Alabama with beaches. But, but, you, know, but you know, J Mac, I think it was probably because it was probably more. <laughs> I think it's probably more tourists North and Florida. shit. North Florida. But no, probably, once you get to Florida, Miami, Jim, it's a different story. No, Miami is, they're nuts in Miami. There are pe- Everybody is nuts in Miami. There's Up some north, bad bitches down north there. North of Miami, bad bitches are nuts. North of Miami, it's just Alabama with water. I promise. That's all it is. This country is fucked. Motherfuckers talk. Like, whatever you see somebody making fun of, pick country, that's Florida. The entire fucking state. I know North Florida because when I used to be in Valdosta, we used to go to Jacksonville and Temple all the time. <laughs> yeah, I went to Jacksonville. You said Jacksonville and Temple? Yeah. Tampa. <laughs> Tampa. Tampa. It's Tampa. T-A. You know what I'm saying. Florida Kinda. is... Anybody who moves to Florida, get ready. That's all I've got to say. Just get ready. I, I just think that there is something about... I mean, Hawaii is a totally different thing. Them motherfuckers don't care. It's like they don't care about time. Like, <laughs> time is like 14 hours. No, it's, it's, there's nobody's in a rush. You know, like as far as the locals and shit. They don't... Just, all of that shit is fucking just whatever. You yeah. know what I mean? I, I think that... I don't know. California is... Somewhat like that in on the beach, the niggas that hang around the beach, they just you know beach bums and shit like that. But I don't know. I always felt at more at peace with the water. You, you That's why the, the motherfuckers think, had that that sound on one of those fucking soothing apps. You I know? seen I seen just I seen I seen bums too as well. Up on, at, on when I was in Hawaii, I'm like, damn, it must be a pretty cool to be a bum in Hawaii. You know what I'm saying? Where <laughs> it's, like, it's just like, yeah, if you're gonna be a bum chilling. somewhere. Be yeah, my fucking how the fuck do life? you get to Hawaii though? You gotta have planned that shit. You gotta have planned to be a bum in Hawaii. Well, no, maybe no, you, nigga, you had you a job and, and you got well, laid you fucked off. Up, nigga. One, yeah, one bad decision cost you, nigga. Hawaii is so expensive that you're not yeah. just gonna be there without some type of. You know what I'm saying? Either yeah. you work in the the resort industry as a, a cabana boy. Maybe you were trafficked. No, you have to plan that. Yeah, so you know what? I'm about to go broke, but I got six hundred dollars left. And, 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 <laughs> and all these. Yeah, that's that's the trade. last place. That's where I would go if I had to go broke. I mean, Hawaii or some shit. I mean, because it's it's warm. Right, so you don't really have to. It's not like being I'm, a bum in, in Atlanta I'm when not it's going. fucking freezing. I'm not going. Because I, I swear, I, I promise you, when it gets down freezing, I'm always thinking about these homeless motherfuckers. <laughs> Me too. Because there, there's so many of them, and I'm like, where they go? When I was in Hawaii, I pulled a POF app up when I went to Hawaii. See, that's why I can't go to Hawaii. They got too many. Remember that that um HBO special, Hookers on the Point? No. Remember that shit? That was those those motherfuckers was transsexuals and they was in Hawaii. Wow. Jay Smooth probably a POF one of them. No, I ain't fuck with them, but I sure looked them up to see what was in the area. You didn't do it, you know, POF and then uh when you was down there. Did in you go the, by yourself to vacation? Hawaii too? No, I didn't. Okay. I didn't. So I you didn't. had some sand and you were still trying to find new sand? I had I actually one of the times I went to Hawaii, see, I took my you kids. See how I trapped him? My he kids. couldn't say my you kids. Did. Oh, you just, uh, just you and your kids? Uh no, I said no. It was I just you and your to, kids? To the kids. But it was just you and your kids? Yeah, right. I t- yeah. I had was there anybody else there with y'all? Yeah. So <laughs> you did take sand, and then it was also looking for people. The kids. Yeah. You was not looking for the kids. Don't say that. That's no, I said I took the kids with me and someone and, else. And someone else. Yeah. Okay, but you were still on POF, even though you were with. I mean, somebody. I was just checking shit out. You know what I'm saying? It's POF is social media. 
No, it's fucking social media. It's nigga, that, nigga, you can DM motherfuckers <laughs> in, on Instagram. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You be uh, hollering at motherfuckers in the area. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it is what it is. Instagram's not necessarily in the area. And Instagram's not set up for fucking. Theo Evans set up but, for. But hey, Instagram is definitely set up for fucking. DM motherfuckers like. A, Have you fucked somebody off Instagram? Nobody. Because uh, you, you're taking too long to yeah. answer. You have? No, he's trying to choose his words because. You have? Yeah, man, so you, you saw her on the ground. It ain't too many. Hit the DM. Too, it ain't too many. Are they, are they listening right now? Can you look at them and tell them, "Hey, girl"? You no, they, they ain't listening now. But I mean, French. I'm gonna tell you all the motherfucking shit. Whether it be Slack, Instagram, whatever, you can use any motherfucking <laughs> social <laughs> social media site. The motherfucker just get in the motherfucking DM box and just hit him up and just hit him with some lyrics. And you know, you get the lyrics. number, okay, and then it the, is what it is. Wow. Seriously, what what lyrics you hit him with? Fat Luther, I mean, a little I mean, Luther. Have, hey, look. have you hit up anybody in the Slack? No. Nah. Yes. You no. just said Slack, though. I know. I was giving you an example. Uh-huh. Well, give us an Did, example. Didn't you hit first Alicata one time? Who? You. You went in our DMs? Man, me and Frank, me and... Bro. <laughs> man. How about that? How about that? How about that? How about that? You wasn't in first Alicata. No, you we, wasn't in first Alicata. No, now, you know she's in a live room, yeah. so if she starts saying something... Stutter and Stanley. Hey, no, no, no. We talked we talk that And it was like What's up What's happening da, da, da. And DM she, 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 was, had, she was getting to know Who Smooth was everybody. She was getting to know Who Smooth was But you, you, know had, a, you had a DM Hey what's up How you doing I, You know what I'm saying well, for, the, for, the, for the listeners baby You know this is what we do Be honest You who, taught us who, to be Better show who's hosts baby? Who's baby her, You know what I'm saying Her or us When you said baby For the listeners Talk about me Who's baby Y'all, her, y'all baby. Her, we're baby. Yeah, y'all baby. I don't feel right. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't no, think he, I don't you think don't he meant to call us. me that. I don't Listen, think he meant us. Be and then you're not from Louisiana, so, you, I, so I'm not even going to let you have a slide with So that. you slid in first Alicat's DMs to say no, hello, No, she slid how are in you? mine. Oh. And she said, hey, Smooth, how you doing? I'm like, what's happening? You know, whoop the whoop, whoop the whoop. You know what I'm saying? Just talking. That's come on, just come it. Come on, let me just, <laughs> let's just do a quick poll. She ever slid in your DM? No. She slid in your DM? Yes, to get help with the app. Okay. So I had Never. to help her with learning who Smooth was. I mean, I can't help from the neck no, up she killing the game. Hold on, no. She didn't slide in my DMs. She was talking in the live room. I was like, hey, let's move the DM. We'll fix whatever issue you have. And she right. told me something. Hey, I said, hit me in the DM. You was going to fix what issue? What? Whatever <laughs> issue she got. What? You know what I'm saying? Like a dry I, spell? No, I, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm my fucking hey French. I well, talk to these motherfucking women and help them if they're dealing with depression or whatever they're oh, dealing you're a life with. Coach. So she's no, depressed. Absolutely, I'm First not saying she depressed. is, but I'm saying if well, they're having issues, well, there's no reason I'm, for DMs. So, so, my so, voice alone just killing them. They, oh, so you it talk to these people too? Oh, so yeah, you know, Morgan Freeman. Motherfucker, I give my number. I think I don't give a fuck. What? I ain't blocking nobody. What you and First Alicat talk about? I mean, we ain't talk about much. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Who smooth was? You know what I'm saying? Whoop 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 whoop. So all the the conversation was just all about you. The conversation. I'm not of course, sick. nigga. I'm, absolutely. Do you guys share pictures? <laughs> no. <laughs> you sent her a dick pic? No, I didn't. No. <laughs> you said you just pulled your dick out the other day. Hey, oh, hey, yeah. you know, I, I learned something this weekend too. I learned something this <laughs> what, weekend. What did you learn? Hey, I just We're found out that. Subject. See, and I think I found. See, <laughs> a sting. We see, talked about. We, we, talk, we, talk, we talked about he a sting. can't even get his Listen, together. listen, listen. We talked about a sting. Self esteem. Did you like, pull your dick out for first, Alicat? No, it didn't. The other, you said the other day. Who was that? No, uh, listen. No, we <laughs> talked about self esteem. Oh, that was supposed to be off air. No, we talked about self esteem, right? And somebody oh, that so has, proud. somebody you has, so proud. you were so proud about it. Like, hey, like, y'all, hey, I put my dick out yeah, yesterday. I had they to do put it. Yesterday. I, had to do I, it. Know, I just, I did that just to see what you motherfuckers were right. going to say. I knew you guys right. couldn't hold a secret. I, I knew it. I was, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, secret. I'm like, this Nigga. is a secret. No, no, you this didn't. is a secret. Don't say that on the live show. No, you and you motherfuckers bring it to the live show. You did not say it was a secret. You know what I'm saying? First of all, don't tell me no secrets about your dick. That's what I'm saying. This nigga said I'm sharing dick secrets. Right. What the fuck? I don't ever need to know any secrets about your dick. I was saying that self-esteem, I learned that too much self-esteem caused you to be narcissistic. <laughs> <laughs> I think you added another CI in there. Uh, it was a narcissist. Narcissist. <laughs> so you say that narcissism causes, I mean, high self-esteem causes narcissism? Too much. Too much of it. They said. They too said, much high self-esteem? That? Who said That's that? what, what re- re- research. They Dr. said Drew? too much of it. So you should have a middle of the road. Middle you know of the road. Uh, self-esteem? self-esteem? Yeah. So you should have, not where you just think too much of yourself. It can become so narcissism. So you got to be like, so okay. And then, and it, for example, you're like, you're like, man, I look good. Well, not too good. I look all right. Like, how do you do that? Damn, um, I, damn, I'm cute. I'm seven, from, I'm seven like a motherfucker, but now maybe I'm a six. How do you do that? How do you not have so much self-esteem? 
Um, Give me an example know. of how if I have way too much self esteem and it's bordering on narcissism. Well, it's just it's, it's I, always I, it's always it it's always about you. You know what I'm saying? How Everything do I chip it, it back down? I'm telling you, uh, I'm I'm borderline narcissistic right now. What do I what do I need to do? What I got to say? What I got to do? How can, oh, I, how can so I bring it down? You got You just can't think so much about yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm oh, saying? He just humble himself. You know what what I'm is saying? he talking about, man? How do you? How do you, how do you have less self? How do you have? You know, I need less self esteem right now. Hey, you're okay today. Yeah, you're, you're not, okay. You're not you got to give okay affirmations. What? Like, I don't understand how you do that, Jason. Who oh, told you that? That remember, doesn't make any sense. No, what just, was that? Um, what was that movie? Fucking uh, with Marcus Aurelius. Um, I don't even know the actor you're talking about. No, no, no. That's no. not an actor. It was. Uh, it wasn't 300. It was uh, Gladiator. So when he was talking about how he walked around and he had the dude talking to him in his ear, talking about you're only a man, you're only a man. Like that's what you need. You need one of them niggas that just follow you around and just fucking beat you down a little bit, just kind of keep you Damn. humble. Like, eh, yeah, nigga. I don't want that. I mean, that's. I'd rather just be a narcissist. I mean, what's the problem? With, what's wrong with being a narcissist? They said. That, well, yeah, what's a, wrong with that? Narcissist is it's a it's a um work for Kobe. It's a, yeah. it's a, not a disease, disease but it's a, uh, it's a, um, it's a bad, it? it's a bad, it's flaw. not good, disorder? it's not good for it's you, a it's flaw. a disorder, it's, it's a flaw, it's not good. I don't want to call it a disorder. Why is it not good? See, they the said, they Everything's said, it's, a yeah, they said, this disorder is a little bit too hard. It Maybe is. Maybe a flaw. I can understand flaw. That's a huge fucking flaw. They so yeah, you know that you are, you know that you actually are a narcissist though, right? I probably can be. No, no, you are. Too much self-esteem. I told the motherfuckers, I said, I think I might be No, one. no, no, no. See, I don't know that it's too much self-esteem. That, that, I've never heard that before, actually. Yeah. I well, think you just are. That's just who you are. That's just part of the... Well, but it's unfounded a- is the problem. Like, where do you... Why are you a narcissist? That's what everybody's wondering. That's what everybody's... So, when people slide in your DMs, I'm assuming, they're, the women are coming in their DMs to figure out, why the fuck do you believe that you all that? Yeah, you know, they like the not? shit. I can't help them. Some motherfuckers that <laughs> no. they, they've had problems in life, you know what I'm saying, that they allow life to beat them the fuck down, and they can't figure out a way to rebound from the shit. Get the fuck back up. You know what I'm saying? Or they could nigga, be like, uh, something's no, wrong please, with this man. Please let it's, this nigga talk. No, it's motherfuckers that man just get beat up in relationships and realize that it's nothing else in life. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. Not physically, not physically but oh, just beat down. Boys, oh, beat down. Yeah, you can get, say certain <laughs> shit. Get, get beat down from the relationship, the, the 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 flaws and the things that go on in relationships and it's not going in their favor. You know what I'm saying? And then motherfuckers get down on themselves. Woe is me. Fuck that. I'm like, nigga, it is what it is. I, I, I look at it as part of being in a relationship. You, so, roll, you roll the punches. I, that, definitely. Because I've had some relationships that didn't work out. That was fucked up. Some fucked up shit happened. I fucked up a lot of motherfuckers. And you know I mean, what I'm from, the, from the neck down, you not a seven. Like I'm not. I'm not. But so I, you had I, to hey, roll nigga, with that n- shit, nigga. I'm, nigga, and I was thinking about when I was in Florida. I was thinking about getting a teddy bear on my stomach to cover up. You know what I'm saying? A bear with him just sitting with his arms open, like a come teddy bear, up. my nigga. You like a, a t-shirt? A big, no, nigga, my stomach. A get tattoo. A, a tattoo with a big teddy bear. Of a big <laughs> like a, a, had a motherfucker arms open and it'd be facing out. That's so it. when I go when I go on the beach, it's like teddy bear. You want to hug the bear? Come so, hug the bear. So listen, no, listen, no. <laughs> come hug the bear. So wow. it actually is you know considered a it disorder. It did on my back. On it's my a back. disorder. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. It's, it's, a, why? it's a personality disorder called MPD, and according yep. to WebMD, uh, it comes from the Greek myth about nar- narcissus. Narcissus. A man who sees he looked his in the own mirror. Refl- I mean, yeah. looked in the, the, the pond and saw yeah. himself and, and fell, in, fell love. in love with himself. Yeah. Yeah. He was gay, though, right? No. <laughs> he did love a man, but it was himself. That's like masturbation. Uh, not really. Are you, you touch a dick when you masturbate, so you're gay too. I then. don't love that dick like that. Shit, I love nigga, my I dick. I love my dick. Like that. Yeah, I do. Shit. So you, you can't get enough of your dick? I can't. Uh, Sometimes I can't. Say it. I, I can't. Say it. I can't get enough. You of just it. said you would, you said last week that you do, you cut anything off except for your dick. Yeah. I don't, but I'm not in love with my dick. <laughs> That's love, you, right? You now. love it, but you're not in love with it. <laughs> yeah. I'm in love with my dick. So, so J Matt, if something happens to your dick, it never worked again. They can't fix this motherfucker. You want them to kill you? Take you out? <laughs> That's it. You in love with the motherfucker? Yeah, you in <laughs> love with that. your dick, bro. I think most men. I think I'm about to say if your Oh fuck that I ain't gonna say that Cause there's a lot of niggas With, with motherfucking little penises That Why shit ain't Why you even thinking working. about niggas and I'm, so, No I'm just saying That's f- reality motherfucker Come on Everybody wasn't reality? born With a big about? dick What is he talking about I'm saying I was about to get ready to say like, Just say what you're gonna say Cause you confused the fuck out I was out about of. to say like If you know what I'm saying Everybody feel the same way Like if you cut your dick off Or your dick don't work no more Then you just Somebody, like, I'm kill Some the niggas are giving it away for free <laughs> They're just getting ready Yeah it didn't change it to vaginas yeah, so, so that's not say, the same. Some niggas just don't like if it. If something happens to my shit, my shit go all the way, nigga, unfunctioned. It's like it's like um, 
I'm just kidding. Kid, I'm, it's I'm like be a right. kidney disorder. It's like a kidney disorder, right? I'll be all right. You lose functionality in your in, in your kidneys, nigga. You on dialysis. Say you lose functionality in your dick. What's the alternative? Nigga, fuck that. Now, you might as well go ahead, here, nigga, put me to sleep. Here, let's put you to, to the test. Put me it, down. it only took 50 minutes for him to talk about his dick. Here, put let's put you to the test. Put nigga. me down. So, fucking Amber Alert. <laughs> Kids. Yeah, I got, it. I got it too. Hey, um, so Savannah, Georgia. Number, number one. Hey, anybody watching this right now, if you're watching this and you're driving, stop doing this shit while you're driving. But look for license plate uh, WF9F09. It's a Georgia a tag, 2002 white Lexus RX300. They got somebody. Oh, that motherfucking kid is dead. Wow, oh, Jay Smooth. Come on, I just said the shit. I was just fucking. Wow, Jay Smooth. But he don't want no one to say nothing about his tongue. That's fucked up. He's a narcissist. That's, okay, listen. Uh-huh. Now, here's some seven signs, uh-huh. and we can tell if whether or not you're a narcissist. Um, one, always talk about themselves. Yep. Oop. Does that check mark? Check. Check. Okay. Let's see here. It's Number. not about you, be honest. No, I don't talk about myself. And I said it's not about you. It's about me. I know. I'm saying check for you. Yeah, I don't need you to answer for me, nigga. <laughs> I'm here I'm not going off the show I, I know you better Than you know yourself No you don't um, Come on okay, man Number two hey, Man hold up You <laughs> fantasize All the time Often Okay Tend to be filled With elaborate fantasies About success Power Brilliance Beauty oh, Or yeah. the perfect mate Oh absolutely <laughs> Absolutely Oh my god It's the nigga's a narcissist Alright Number three Believe they are superior Mm. Um, of you, course you, you have grandiose sense of self-importance yep. <clears throat> I am important. He thinks he's the star of this show Fool me with so that So we're three for three right now, right? Absolutely. Yes um, Oh, shit Requires constant praise <laughs> Oh, my God <laughs> I don't Because you don't have to praise You don't have to praise me I praise myself Nigga, please <laughs> That's even worse Before the, the show point. You were making a scene Without anybody even knowing You were making a scene You were hiding in this house so that you could mess with us. Texting us all. Texting us about, y'all ready to start? No, text it first that he left, that he wasn't here. Right. And that He and, pretended he yeah, left. Right, right. Just to only be hiding in the booth. <laughs> in the booth, yeah. Yo, yeah. yeah, I took it back. That is a disorder. It uh, is it a is. disorder. This thing yeah. is crazy. That's why I say you got a mental illness. What about? Yo, that shit is a disorder. Like, damn. Here's, Here's number just, five. Mm-hmm. You have a sense of entitlement. Sensitive? It's sense mm-hmm. of I don't know about that No, one. not me. I don't know about that one. Expecting others to offer special favors. Unless you're favors. talking about women. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's yeah. his entitlement. Though. Yeah, yeah, that's the only he, thing he he's valued. entitled to the next pussy. Question, next question, he's, no, next he's taking it to the topic. He's he's entitled to the pussy. You know that because he'll, it's, he'll, no, it's just it's gonna happen. It's part of the process. Whoa. If such treatment isn't awarded to them, they may become impatient or angry. Mm-hmm. No, <gasps> when you take the pussy, I no, I don't really take it. It's you come offered. real close. It's offered. I mean, because then you, you once they get it, they're ready for you to they 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 leave. And you're like, this thing will not leave until I give them this pussy. Once, once they get it, you know they're going to like it. So it's not, it's, they're gonna, you're going to change their mind. It's like, you know, I'm going to fuck them until they like it, like Mike Tyson said. Yep. Um, number six, take advantage of others. No. You don't take advantage of bitches? Not, not, not often. Man, Why Jay, you name lying? one relationship you didn't take advantage of them. One. You, Shit, you, you, I, you, I got a few. You of them can give me an initial because I'll know. And I'm I got a, I got a few of them that I didn't take advantage. of <gasps> one of the longest relationships that I had. I didn't take advantage of that shit. You a goddamn lie. Okay. You live rent free. No, the fuck I didn't. I paid in that motherfucker. With dick, right? <sighs> Nigga, I paid. Broke dick. I paid for my stay. Pays for a different. All I know level. is I got to sleep on the couch for a little while. So listen, listen. Envy, <laughs> envious. And this is the last one. Envious of others. Never. Okay. Ah uh, no 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 no! I don't know about the envious one. Does, you, do you really believe that the, the reason why he talks about everybody is because he's not envious? Like he's just coming in. Why would the fuck I be? Why would the fuck I be? Because my swag. because it's, you're insecure, nigga. So your insecurity never. Makes you, so I'm yeah, never fucking insecure. Whenever Jay Smooth look, whenever Jay Smooth starts uh, talking about your hat or your shirt, just be like, oh, you feeling insecure right now? Go ahead, talk so, about me. No, so I, French, it, makes you, French, it makes you feel let better. Me, let me say this, French. When you got on some some nice smooth shit, right? I say French. I, I'm, I'm digging a hat like you got the Celtic shit on. I was like, "Yo, fire ass cap." Did yeah, I not say, say this that? is the first did, time no, ever? No, you got to no, make it a joke, French. Did I not fucking say nice cap? Check it out. Um, you yes said or no, this is nigga. The first time ever. See, yes or no, nigga. And then you yeah, and then you move right to his sweater. I said your sweater. I said your beloved sweater. Where is the strings? Where did you say? I said your sweater. But I said it's nice. I said afford the strings. I said it's a good motherfucking sweater. And you already told us that sometimes you're gonna go well and you'll catch a good night deal. See how he finishes. No, but that's what he. 
said that before. He said that before. He just before. did it again. No, no, no. He can't help it. Listen, but I'm just saying. Let nice me, yo, let me explain what they, Let me explain what they're saying, though, here. It says, because of the low self-esteem and need to be superior to others, narcissists see people who have things they don't, such as... Did you say low self-esteem? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, such as tangible items, that. status, this or... Ad, is, this is an intervention. Ad, as, or <laughs> admiration as threats. Uh-oh. Read that again for the listeners. You remember, hey, look, remember just how he was sitting out saying he got mad because I started talking about Prime America? Yeah. You see how he jumped yeah. and got mad at the threat? Yeah. He felt threatened. His insecurity, uh-oh, that's you, Jay Smooth. You're the only one. Was your shit not on silent? My shit is and, you, and you already said she was dead anyway, so just turn your shit off. That's not mine. That is yours. That's it's not in, mine. It's in your hand, nigga. That's not mine. That must be, that wasn't mine. But then look at, okay, look, Shaggy. look at the rest of it though, right? All right, right. Shaggy. Narcissists may also believe that others are envious of them. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. This is the book of Jay Smooth. <laughs> he didn't even know what narcissism was until tonight, and he's going to leave here knowing. No, he's the prime example. He's the first study. Wow. And while this is exactly the type of attention the narcissist wants, accusing people of such feelings may put them put an immediate end to the relationship. So, attention. That was the whole thing we were talking about hiding and, yep. and getting attention and Man, the, hi- the whole hiatus thing. Yeah. Yeah. All of it. Yeah. But that shit is a disorder. It is. And he's got it. Damn. This nigga got it. They got medicine for this? I don't think so, man. You gotta whoop his ass. Test X. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Jay Smooth. He looks he looks defeated. So now you know that you're gonna have to, <laughs> to start making um, you know, you gotta start making some changes. You know? Okay. Reflecting. Yeah. Probably get a personal journal. Okay. You know. A therapist, nigga. You just need somebody to talk to. Okay. Yeah. That's why I talk to you guys every week. All right. All but right. you don't confess. You just talk shit. I do. I confess all the time. All right, my nigga. He's sad now. His yeah, self-esteem self 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 took a hit. I'm so, down. Yeah. I'm down. I'm down. You guys, all right. You, guys beat, you, you, guys you, you the star, Jason. I, I think I can, you guys beat me down. And I think <laughs> no, I, no, you're I'm going to start dealing with mental disorder. You you're start dealing with down. it. Yeah. See, you used to act like a millennial now, man. Yeah. <laughs> you guys beat me down. It's fucked up. You know, I come to the show, man, for you guys yeah, to lift me up. Talking about millennials, man. <laughs> Here we go. Um, yo, we are soft, boy. Yes, you Maybe guys are just figuring this shit. All out? these new diseases y'all created. Yes, they didn't have that shit until y'all came out. Yes, <laughs> bipolarism. Yeah, fucking guess, all this other shit. Yo, you know, Netflix took out an, on a that show they got with the dude, the science dude, Bill Nye, the science guy. Oranges the oh, they, they, they stopped that. They now I don't know if they stopped it, but there's this episode where he's talking about the chromosomes between male and female, and they got rid of that episode because it describes what a male This You know, it says the XY is the male. Uh-huh. They took that out because technically, due to the transgender population, it's offensive. Damn. That's yes. a fact, though. Well, you know, they're going to. But about, that's a fact. But they're about to start teaching sex ed with transgender and gay shit and yep. like anal sex and. and, and that oh, too. that's lit, like they're though. gonna teach. That's lit. They're gonna yeah. teach. I wish the I had, abstinence of it. I wish I had had sex ed with anal sex. Because I remember it. sex ed for me was basically telling us to not fuck nobody until we married. No, that's not what sex ed was for us. Where you go to Catholic school? No, I was in they Con- us, County they Public us, School. They showed us condoms and everything. It's like they give us the cards to say we abstinent free and everything. Oh, that shit don't work. No, but Jamie Mac, you say it's cool to, to have them talk about anal sex. Yeah, I wish I had. Even if it's two dudes. Well, I know I'm not. They're like little Jamie, you and Paul. Y'all come here. I want you to be my. I wasn't thinking about two dudes. See. I want you guys to be my examples. <laughs> All right, so now Jamie, Jamie bends over class. Hold up, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, hold you're on. the bottom, nigga. <laughs> hold up. In this example, in my example, you're the fucking bottom because you thought it was cool a second ago. I did. How cool I, is I, it? I, 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 I was just thinking normal anal sex. Okay, now so, Johnny, you know I mean? don't really put your, don't really put your thing in his butt. Just and Jamie, and Jay, Jay Mac, don't look back at Johnny. <laughs> That's that's cool to you though having two having talking about. What grade? Sex. Are, where grade are we starting at? Eighth grade, I think, it was when they do sex. That's sex fine. ed. That's what thirteen. I'm just talking about how to get it in, you know, without hurting. Her. Hey, so you, you, know you still mean? practice the abstinence, right, French? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Off and on. <laughs> are, you still, you, are you still on a drought? Not because he wants to. He never said he's on a drought. Yeah. Well, it's two weeks. That's kind of a drought. Not because he wants to. Two it weeks. Two weeks is a drought. It's a drought. ain't because he wants to. <laughs> That's not what a drought would be. I got someone for the weekend. You don't drought because you want to. Pussy. Uh, uh, oh, that's good. Good deal. So you're good. You're good with that though. T- teaching anal sex to your son. And yeah, like yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, his it'd be better for his wife. Like if he knows what he's doing. Well, but he, what if his not, wife is not into that? He's gonna be like, you can do. That's what I'm saying. He's gonna be like, if he's skilled at it, right? No. If he if he was taught how to how to lube it right, he's not. How to, how to put it he's in not. slow. He's not. You know what I mean, and and he's how gonna to be shocked. He's like, you can do this to a girl too. 
You can do this to a girl? He's like, he's me so confused. He knows girls have assholes. Yeah, but he didn't know you could you fuck them. Why not? Because in class, once just, you realize you can fuck an asshole, you're like, damn. All, you gotta no, do, all oh, he got to do oh, is just. So it's the same? He's going to extrapolate that. So it's that. the same? He's going to extrapolate that. So it's that. the same? I, an asshole is. <laughs> is an asshole? You know what you're saying? It's the same? I would speak, know, it, speak your truth, man. I would, I would, hey, no, speak no, your no. truth. Tell him push that shit in and just provide it with some preparation H when she get done. What? So once she pulls pull that shit out, the embryos pop out with it. I don't is say, that what happens? Is I that mean, how you get hemorrhoids? They, swear, I mean, they say you? they say fuck a motherfucking head. You could possibly. I know the chick that she had problems like that. She couldn't hold you her shit. She had to have surgery. Like I've never heard that. Should have surgery. I've never heard yeah, that. Yeah, she got she got cancer in the ass. No, what the fuck? <laughs> from, all, all how's that possible? She got cancer from, in the ass. ass fucking, hey, she she got cancer like in the ass. Like a tumor grew in her butthole? She, uh, I don't fucking know. <laughs> like, like, she motherfucking like, had cancer. Like, like, where is the cancer in the ass? She had cancer in her ass. In her colon or in her ass? ass. Yeah. In her ass, I it's don't know. In her, it was like sitting in her ass with a body shit? I, I don't motherfucking know, but she had that, and she had to go through treatment. It went through ass hemorrhoids. fucking. Yeah, she said she said she used to do a lot of ass fucking. <laughs> That's not funny, but come on. All bullshit is out. Yeah, come seriously. On, it's all bullshit is out. She said, and then she had to have some type of surgery because the you motherfucking the muscle. Okay, time out. So you're trying to tell me muscle. you're trying to tell me that cancer is an STD. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's an STD, but she well, said you can't get come it if fucking, it ain't. she said she was fucking in the ass a lot and she wound up getting That's ass. That's just cancer. a coincidence, man. Right. I'm not even sure that you can get ass cancer. Are you sure it's not like colon cancer? <laughs> yeah, because like where in the come- ass? Because cancer is a tumor that grows in your body in a specific part of the body. Nigga, fuck so that nigga. Where might in the ass? The buttocks muscle? Like, this like nigga, where? <laughs> like, nigga, like nigga, ass cancer, nigga. Where, where I don't those know. things? Where those things? Buttocks. <laughs> 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 I mean, that's the real word. It's just funny when you say it. That nigga pronounced everything. He pick and choose when he want to use his Fucking, uh, <laughs> syllables. Yeah, oh, but that's what, but that was that was a few years ago. She motherfucking had ass cancer. That was crazy. I had never heard of it in my, my life. I'm like, so she wouldn't let you fuck her in ass no more? No, I didn't know. I was like, damn, if I knew you liked it in the ass, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? What, that's what your takeaway was. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no more than start like. <laughs> oh damn, I'm late. That was you. That's what your takeaway was. Nice shit. I'm just saying. You're fucking right. in the closed shop. Damn it. But anyways, man, let's get into some of these questions. Nah, here. man, no? they can't fuck for free. No. Oh, they gotta download the episode. Okay, then I thought we was doing that on the live. No, we had an hour. I mean, if you want to, it's up to you. Let's let's see what the live room wants. Live, what the fuck you motherfuckers want? We can go ahead and do the questions. We can get the questions. Let's do the questions. All right, all right. Get the questions. <laughs> so, first question: What is your biggest fear? Biggest fears pertaining to you? Individual- I need. I need to. Um, you gotta, you gotta. <laughs> if you're gonna be in charge of shit, man, you gotta manage it better, man. You can't wait till an hour to then start trying to change directions. My bad, my nigga. I, my, hey, look. <laughs> my bad. My bad. I thought, you know what? I misunderstood earlier when we was doing pre show prep. Right. I thought we was doing both. You know okay. what I mean? And listen, we were. We were, but then you gotta manage it. Ah, uh, I feel what you're saying. Yeah. The shit got long. Yeah, you talk about his dick for like 45 minutes. You let Jay Smooth go too far. Damn. Okay. No, my I did. Bad. Fred, shut the fuck but up. But we did have some help. Gobble you did. Dick, you did. Nigga. Well, no, when we started the narcissist topic, that was really the question of nonsense you, time. You, you said, who did you call this nigga? Huh? You called I said him. French. No, you said something about a garble dick or something. What? I, and I said, nigga, shut the fuck up and gobble dick, nigga. Oh, okay. Who's dick? <laughs> huh? Who's dick? I said, just gobble dick. <laughs> Who's dick? Whoever dick you want. Not long as it's not mine. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you know, you, don't, you never tell the motherfucker suck my dick? <laughs> Probably before I knew better. <laughs> when you know better, you do better. <laughs> so how many dicks? Did, how many times did you get your dicks up before you knew better? <laughs> Learned your trial and error. How did you this learn? Nigga said before you knew better, nigga. What, what, is, what does know better mean? What do you? you what what do you know telling, now? Can't be telling a nigga to suck your dick. Why not? Because nigga happens? take you up on your offer. Like okay, really? <laughs> how many okay. Times? Wait a minute. Did you really ever have somebody like? Man up and be like, yeah, what's you are in Atlanta? Nah, nah but I mean, you never know. Nigga be like, hey, you told me you want me to suck your dick. You with it? Uh, like, fuck that, nigga. I don't nah. know, my nigga. I ain't never had that problem, man. I didn't never know nobody to be literal about that shit. All right, my bad. So we'll just do a few then. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm gonna skip that one then. <laughs> <laughs> Seemed like it was gonna be long as fuck. Yeah, you know who you was. I'm sorry, yeah, Mr. Not... J, motherfucking no, these long no, ass no, shit. That was your boo. Let's just do it on. Let's do it on the rest of the show. They gotta download it, man. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah, we'll, that'll give us some time. Cause yeah, that was your boo. Hey, we appreciate y'all tuning in. To another episode of the No Nonsense Show Live edition Make sure you go out to the website NoNonsenseShow.com or RareSonance.com And download the rest of the show tomorrow as well If you're on Rare Sonance You can look at, listen to all the rest of our shows as well What else we got, Jason? Move anything? 
You you basically did, you, you underwhelmed us today, man. You came back with nothing. Okay, that's how I do. You got nothing to take us I, out of here. I was empty. You was empty. You went to, you went on vacation to recharge, right? Huh? Yeah. I was Ooh. empty. Keep supporting us. Keep interacting with us, and we'll. Keep Look, no, 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 no. Why you do it? Because French just looked the shit up. French no, just was, looked it up. I he was, was getting ready for it. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> he was looking at French. Take us out of here, baby. I've been doing this. No, I've okay, been let me see. All right, let me see. Go ahead. No, you know what, J Smooth, you take us out of here. Listen, keep supporting work. us. Keep interacting with us. We're gonna keep bringing the nonsense because <laughs> we realize sometimes people just need to laugh. French. Until next time. You know what? What's the phone number? Six seven eight six nine six. Nope. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Six seven eight <laughs> six three six nine one one six. It's the motherfucking number to the no nonsense. This your boy Jay Smooth. Once again, I am in the building, and we out. See French. <laughs>